Congratulations to you, the class of 2021. Along with all of the other faculty and staff in the School of Engineering, I'm incredibly proud of you and all you've accomplished in this extraordinary year. You have worked incredibly hard to get to where you are today, and I hope you'll take the time to reflect on your many achievements and the extraordinary opportunities that await you. Our mission in the School of Engineering is to seek solutions to some of the most urgent global challenges and to educate leaders who will improve the world through the power of engineering principles, techniques, and systems. If the events of the past year have taught us anything, it's that there are so many global challenges to be solved and that the world needs people like you more than ever before. I'm confident that each of you will serve the world and your communities by applying your talents, your knowledge, and your skills to taking on and solving some of these challenges. And whether you studied and did research from here on campus or from many miles away, I hope you'll visit us here in the years to come. You will make Stanford proud and we're eager to see all that you will do with your Stanford education. Congratulations again to you, Stanford Engineering graduates of the class of 2021. Hello, class of 2021. Please know that all of us here in bioengineering are extremely proud of you and all that you've accomplished. As you move forward in your lives and careers, we hope that you will take with you lessons learned, rich experiences, and fond memories of your time at Stanford. You have a truly unique opportunity to use the tools of engineering and biology that you've learned here to impact the world and solve some of humanity's greatest challenges. We believe in you, but more importantly, the world is counting on you. We look forward to all that you will go on to accomplish, and we do hope you'll keep in touch. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Your accomplishments and achievements over these past years have been inspiring and amazing. You have excelled in scholarship, in scientific research, and have made a difference both on and off of campus. For many of you, these triumphs are especially sweet because of what it means to your families and close friends. You did it. I hope you feel that and that you treasure this moment. And so, with love, cheers, and all the best wishes, congratulations, graduating class of 2021. EMC and BioE graduates, congratulations. Congratulations, Stanford Bioengineers. What a great moment. I'm Carl Dyseroth, your Director of Undergraduate Education, and it's been my privilege to work with you for the past few years. So proud and happy you've reached this point, and I join everybody, your friends, your family, the whole community in congratulating you. The world needs you. The world needs to be fixed by a Stanford bioengineer or two. Come back and visit often. Drop me a line anytime. This will always be your home. To the graduating class of 2021, congratulations. You made it through a year unlike any other, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Please, don't forget to take time to celebrate. You deserve it. Congratulations again. On behalf of the Department of Bioengineering, Congratulations. Congratulations! Yeah, way to go! Hi. Hello, we're a few of this year's BioE and BMC undergraduate student coordinators. We've had such a great time getting to know you through events and breakout rooms. And we feel so lucky to be part of this great community. We're inspired by the diverse passions of this class. And we are proud to have crossed paths with you. We can't wait to see what you accomplish. We wish you the best wherever you're going. Congratulations. Class of 2021. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats. Looking forward to putting our energy and engineering skills towards improving human health together. Congratulations. Follow your passions to forge your own path in life. It's much more interesting and the details generally figure themselves out in the end. Congratulations on your graduation. Both Marilyn Medlock and I encourage all of you to be open to new opportunities and possibilities. Looking forward to you joining us as BioE alums. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing everything that you all accomplish. I know you're going to turn the impossible into the possible and create a better world for all of us. Congratulations on achieving this really exciting milestone in your lives. Be bold on your journey and bring a piece of that Stanford spirit with you wherever you go. 
Welcome to the BioE alumni family. Woo! Graduating from Stanford University is no small feat. And you have all done it, despite facing some of the most unique challenges this world has ever seen. Some of you may have been joined by your furry friends during Zoom meetings. Gracie, you're muted. And some of you may have been experiencing technical difficulties. Some of you may have tried to get a little creative to keep your Zoom meetings entertaining. And some of you might have taken casual to a whole new level. Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. But you have all accomplished so much. And so on behalf of BioE Student Services and BioE's littlest community member, we want to say congratulations to all of our BioE graduates and to your friends and family. Well done. This is an amazing accomplishment during extraordinary times, and we can't wait to see what you'll do next. Congratulations. It's often said that there's a fine line between brilliance and failure. In fact, some of the most influential discoveries of our time were made entirely by mistake. And the field of bioengineering is riddled with such examples. One of my favorite examples of this is in 1956. Wilson Great Botch was working on building a device to record a heart rhythm. He reached into the box and pulled out a resistor of the wrong size and plugged it into the circuit. Clearly, he had not taken BioE 123. When he installed it, he realized that the rhythmical noise generated by the box matched that of the human heart. He managed to use this to help transform pacemakers from machines the size of TVs to implantable devices. I have to say, one of the most impactful discoveries that I made as an undergraduate in BioE was indeed a complete mistake. Let me set the scene. It's the first BioE class that I've ever taken, Engineering 80. I was perhaps taking too many classes that quarter, and I had left one of my assignments until the night before it was due. The last question I had to complete on the assignment was as follows. Find some biologic material and take pictures of it using your Foldscope, a pocket microscope designed by BioE Professor Prakash. I read this question sitting in the law library and said, wow, this is perfect. I have a couple of succulents in my room. My mom had given me these succulents at the beginning of the year, after I maybe killed my succulents from freshman year due to neglect and I had made it my personal mission to keep them alive to prove to her and to myself that I could take care of a living thing. I even had a reminder on my phone for every two weeks to water them. I felt a little guilty that I was planning on slicing them up and told myself that it was fine, there's only two weeks left of spring quarter and a little slice probably won't hurt them. So I trudged home to my room, got out my X-Acto knife and fold scope and reached for my succulent. I tried to cut, no luck. Wow, this is a really resilient plant, I thought. I tried again, I made a super small dent. I looked closer and I realized that my succulent was plastic. So I made some very important discoveries. One, I'd been watering a fake plant all year. And yes, that's probably why my carpet was wet and faintly moldy. Two, my mother knew that I could not for the life of me take care of a plant. And three, she really thought that I would never find out. And if not for Engineering 80, I definitely wouldn't have. Every class and experience that I've had in BioE has challenged me and taught me to deal with unexpected discoveries. Be it my discovery that wearing a nice sweater to Cadaver Lab in BioE 51 means it will probably smell like formalin for weeks. Or that yes, it's possible to be kept awake at night, racking your brain as to why your fermenter propeller is not turning on. Or even yet, learning that it's possible to virtually and in a pandemic, watch live groundbreaking optogenetic simulation of mice in one class and turn around just an hour later and talk to leading specialists about coordination of oxygen therapy in low resource settings for a capstone class. This department is simply bursting with groundbreaking research and global connections. What I think this major has really taught us is how to deal with mistakes, unexpected discoveries, failures. The very nature of bioengineering is to take biology, to take nature and to tinker with discover, create new ways for technology to intersect with biology. Andrew Fleming discovered penicillin accidentally when cleaning his Petri dishes. 
warfarin was discovered when it was found that cattle would bleed profusely in surgery if they had eaten a certain spoiled clover plant. Bioengineers take mistakes, failures, and they don't just deal with them, but they create innovation from them. The past year and a half has been unexpected. Definitely not the end we saw to our undergraduate career. But worldwide, this pandemic has unexpectedly bettered science. Collaboration between researchers has never been more frequent or possible in a virtual setting. Push for a vaccine has led to the fastest FDA approval ever seen. Even more unexpectedly, lower traffic in the oceans has allowed for extensive study of never before heard whale noises and interactions. Movement in and out of the cities of India has allowed for characterization of pollution sources, which was never possible before. American physicist Joseph Henry claims that the seeds of great discoveries are constantly floating around us, but they only take root in the minds well prepared to receive them. Having had the great privilege of working very closely with many of you all, the BioWeek class of 2021, I know that the scientific community today is gaining a group of incredible minds, ready to take the unexpected the world continues to throw at us and not only receive it, but innovate from it. I'm eager to see all the exciting, accidental and world-changing creations that I know are to come from all of you in the future. Thank you so much and congratulations to the BioE class of 2021. My warmest and deepest congratulations to all the students in our Stanford bioengineering family who are graduating this year. My heartfelt congratulations also to the families and friends of my fellow graduates who are here with us today. Thank you for joining us. Due to the pandemic, but also due to the diagnosis, treatment, and vaccination technologies that are slowly but surely helping us get back on our feet, I actually don't have to justify to the families and friends of my fellow graduates why the bioengineering skills you have acquired over the past several years are so incredibly valuable. Just like Zoom became a household name during the pandemic, so too did mRNA or RT-PCR or antibodies. It's actually a little funny to see our technical jargon enter into the mainstream like this. What I do hope will linger in society after this pandemic is the recognition of the interconnectedness of nature, the interconnectedness of the animals and plants and the human beings, the diversity of human beings who inhabit this planet. For me, realizing this interconnectedness partly means valuing, supporting, and cherishing a vast spectrum of biological research and education from the basic to the applied with an emphasis on promoting creativity. We will need the help and support of everything in our collective arsenal, the wisdom of each one of you, my fellow graduates, as we face the biomedical and environmental challenges that lie ahead of us as a society. You know, graduate school is pretty hard. And to top the uncertainty of graduate school, this year has ravaged so many lives. It can be disillusioning. For all the problems we do solve, bigger, more daunting challenges seem to lie ahead of us. Sometimes I find that I'm thinking to myself, you know, sure, my degree will help me get a better job and climb a career ladder. And yes, I've acquired some useful skills to contribute to society. But with everything going on around us, what's it all going to amount to? What's the meaning of it all? What are we really celebrating here today? It's in these moments that I think of my grandfather who was always designing these physics experiments in his bedroom in India, but never really had the opportunity to train and to push his ideas forward. I realize his dreams have become my reality. I realize that I'm living the best case scenario of the life my parents had silently wished for me and sacrificed so much for without knowing what's ever going to come out of their efforts. So many of my family members and friends have contributed to this dream in such meaningful and wonderful ways. So my dear fellow graduates, for me, what makes today's celebration most meaningful is not only that we celebrate ourselves, but also celebrate our families and friends 
whose shoulders and dreams and hopes we have rested on to get to this stage. I hope that reflecting on your roots, on your personal history, can add perspective to the meaning of today's celebration for you as well. And congratulations again. Good afternoon. My name is Amit Kaushal. I am the director of the undergraduate major in biomedical computation. Over the past 50 years, the scientific world has witnessed two remarkable revolutions. The first is an advance in our understanding of the processes that underpin biology, medicine, human health, and life itself. Second, at the same time, there has been an advance in the power of the computational sciences, reshaping all aspects of the world around us. The biomedical computation major trains students at the intersection of these exciting disciplines. Over the past four years, these students have spent many days, and I'm sure some late nights too, learning theories, tools, and techniques of computer science and the nuances of biology and biomedicine. Their aim, to understand problems that matter and use, or sometimes invent, cutting edge computational approaches to solve them. The global pandemic of the past year has made it apparent just how important this interdisciplinary background is when it comes to addressing important problems facing humanity. It is my privilege today to present to you the Biomedical Computation graduates of 2021. Ryan James Crowley, graduating with honors and with distinction. Ryan is a recipient of the Terman Award. Mark Laurie, graduating with honors. Christopher Skalnik, graduating with honors and with distinction. Christopher is a recipient of the Terman Award. Joanna Song, graduating with distinction. Congratulations, everyone. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Carl Dyseroth. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Education in Bioengineering. It's a tremendous honor for me to acknowledge our graduating seniors in bioengineering. I'll read through uh, the names of each of our, uh, our wonderful graduating seniors. Caitlin Acosta. Oluremi Akindele. Ashley Dorothy Amato, graduating with honors. Zeta Blotner. Tegan Coles. Reese DeSoda. Peyton Freeman. Eleanor Glockner. Maverick Handley. Maria Paula Hernandez. Sai Madineni, graduating with honors, graduating with distinction, recipient of the Terman Award and Ford Scholar Award. China Mays. Rania Ode. Erica Christine Olson. Jillian Perasa. Idalia Perez Oliveira. Yash Pershad. Matthew Prospero. Catherine E. Rogers. Hannah Schofield. Stav Spinzi, graduating with distinction. Colton Swingle. 
Calvin Taylor. Elena Tadani. Cami Tussi. Joshua Wolf. Hello, everyone. My name is Marcus Coberts. I am the Director of Graduate Studies in the Bioengineering Department at Stanford University. And it's my privilege and pleasure to be able to read the names of our graduate student graduates, beginning with the master's students, which I will do now. Kwa Kao, Jesse Gibson, Jeremiah Hess, Charles Wong, Justin Wong, Yu Cheng Wong, Janelle Kaneda, Kate LeBlanc, Emily Meany, Kazra Nafchi Ardabili, Evan Kortner, Andrew Similago, Zachary Sexton, Ishwarya Venkatramani, Christine Zhao. Many congratulations. Uh, it was wonderful to have you here. Now for the PhD students, whose names are as follows. Namrata Anand, Andres Jesus Aranda Diaz, Kara Brower, Miley De Felice, Nimit Jane, Desi Kong, Steve Learn, Akshay Maheshwari, Caitlin Maikawa. Kara Nunez, Joanna O'Day, Gabe Reeder, Elise Robinson, Tim Schnabel, Prashant Srinivasan, Lusa Tedesi, Alexander Tarashansky, Alejandro Trevino, Hannah Wastick, Lauren Watkins, Kara Welker, Alexa Wornowski, Andrew Chris Yang. Congratulations, uh, we're thrilled and excited for you.